friends hope you remember what we did in the last class we were discussing conjunction for combining two words we add um this is the suffix to both the words for that we did have a few examples where we could see some variations let me find out whether you have understood it properly do you remember these words u e ir u ir and this is me e me u ir stands for vowels and me stands for consonants suppose we are combining these two what will uh, happen you put um here and again here here you have a consonant this is a vowel so naturally this accepts the vowel and you have we room and here you have to take care of the number of letters in this particular word it's a two lettered word with a short vowel whenever there is a short vowel as the first letter of any word you have to be careful now this is a short vowel with a consonant the consonant has another vowel to come in the other word here what happens this is doubled we did see that do you remember may plus another this is doubled you get ya and it becomes u and om this remains as it is so you have may plus om may yum you have another ya here that is doubling of this particular consonant this takes place only when the first letter is a short one and that too the whole word is a two lettered one now we shall have a few more examples and find out how we can solve them if there is any problem Do you remember this word? Ma ni ma ni ma ni stands for a bell, a jewel, and also at times time. Ma ni, and this is o. li oli oli means sound a bell must have a sound now i combine these two i put um here and also here how will this be joined this is ni it ends with a vowel e this um starts with a vowel u this is a vowel and this also is a vowel 
when two vowels come together what did we do last time we try to drop one and accept one drop one and accept one when there are two vowels that are that is when there are two u's here you know it is one e and the other is u so to combine these two vowels you have to do something what happens these vowels are raw ones rough ones so naturally you have to put a sort of grease and this letter ya functions as a grease between these two this is called a semi vowel in linguistics this e is a consonant by itself and also functions as a semi vowel as a result you have this and put together that is mani plus ya consonant plus um what will this be mani u ma ni u m mani um and here we come we find the same pattern here this word ending with e and this one having another vowel naturally you have a semi vowel here and this becomes volium so mani yum mani yum voli yum voli yum mani yum voli yum when mani and voli are combined the result is it they become mani yum voli yum mani and voli that is a bell and sound what is this ki li ki li ki li is a parrot as we saw earlier suppose you have to add um you have another bird here can you recognize this one ka ha yam ka gam mark the pronunciation ka gam this ka becomes ga because of the previous letter ka gam ka gam is a crow and you add um here a parrot and a crow a parrot and a crow and you combine these two kili plus um kagam plus um here what happens there is a natural combination so this becomes ka ga mu yam yam plus u becomes mu kagamum this is a natural combination here we find e in the first letter and u in the other word as the first letter so you require a grease so this becomes kiliyum kagamum kiliyum kagamum i would like to experiment a bigger bird
What is this? Mori. Mori. What is Mori? We have already come across when we were doing Mo. Mori. Mori. A language. This is I, La, I, Ki, Ya, Im. Ilakiyam. Mark the pronunciation. Ka is doubled here. So it retains its original sound. I, La, I, Ki, Ya, Im. Ilakiyam. Ilakiyam is literature. This is Mori language. This is literature Yelakiyam. He combined these two. The same pattern. Mori ends with Yi. So naturally it needs a grease, a semi oval that is. It becomes morium. Is it clear? Mori plus um. Since there are two vowels at the end of the first word and the beginning of the next word, we need a semi vowel and it is ya consonant. The whole is ya plus u u and mori plus u plus m mori yum and here elakiyam plus um what happens it's a natural combination so elakiyam um mori yum elak Mum. Is it clear? It is a bigger word with so many letters. I move on to another set of words. This is Na-in. Non. Non means I. This is ni, meaning you. Non and ni. I and you. You and I. However, you put this, the result will be the same. That is to say, you have to add um in both the places. Non plus um, a consonant accepting a vowel naturally. It is a natural combination. So, this becomes non plus um, non um. And here you have a single letter. A long letter, a long oval, ni. This again, a oval facing another oval. Two ovals clashing. You can't compromise between these two ovals. So naturally, you need a semi oval to combine. So this becomes ni yung. Nanum niyum. Ni being a one lettered word and a long one needs a semi vowel for taking um, taking um the, the suffix for conjunction. So nanum niyum. Let me have one more example. What is this? Near. Near. Near is water. 
remember how I write this, you need not have this stroke at the end, need not, near water, tea, fire. I combine these two, I add the suffix, in the natural suffix um, this is a consonant and a vowel, naturally there is a natural acceptance, ni room, here this ends with e, a long vowel and another vowel, so naturally you have to put a semi vowel in between, this becomes t yum, ni room, t yum, near plus um, a natural combination, t plus um needing a semi vowel, t yum. is wa il wall do you remember the meaning we did see that wall a tail this is the lai the lai a head wall and thalai you combine these two what happens? You add um to both the words. This is wall ending with a consonant. Um is added, the consonant accepts the vowel wu. So, naturally, there is a natural mixing acceptance. Here, this ends with a long vowel and this again a vowel. So, you need a semi vowel in between. So, this becomes thalai yum wall plus um walum thalai plus um thalai yum. You have brought in a semi vowel so that the uh, the combination will be a smooth one the acceptance of this vowel will be a smooth one let me have one more example see i want you to be thorough with these fundamentals so that you will be able to read any text easily and understand. What is this? A ru, a ru, meaning a river. Ma lai, ma lai meaning a mountain. We combine these two. I add um, that is the suffix for combining two words, that is the conjunction. So, r plus um, what happens? You have to remember this also ends with wo. We did see this set of example earlier. So, we drop that since there is a long vowel. So, this becomes a ru m a rum. And here this ends with i a long vowel. So, naturally you need a semi vowel, this becomes a 
மலையும் மலையும் ஆறும் மலையும் we did have more than two sets under each category let me see whether you can do it independently what is this who it புத்தகம் 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 இஸ் புக் திஸ் இஸ் பை பை இஸ் அ பேக் ஹவ் வில் யூ கம்பைன் திஸ் இஸ் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் யூ ஹாவ் டு ஆட் திஸ் சஃபெக்ட்ஸ் அட் போத் தி எண்ட்ஸ் that is at the end of the first word and also at the end of the second word puttagam this consonant m accepts this vowel u so naturally it becomes mu putta ga mum putta ga mum and here pi is a single lettered word ending with i a long vowel so naturally it needs a semi vowel y yum pi plus um semi vowel ya is added pi yum puttagamum pi yum a book and I'm back we will take up together all the examples we have seen kili ending with e ni ending with e malai ending with i this kili ends with a vowel e ni ends with a vowel e malai ends with a vowel i all these three are vowels when we had to add this boom the suffix for conjunction we brought in a semi vowel that is ya ya with a dot above remember that so what is this rule for this set any word ending with e or e or i will take the semi vowel ya when it gets the suffix om that is e e and i while accepting a vowel u need a semi vowel for a smooth combination e e and i so any word ending with e or e or i will need a semi vowel ya is it clear this is very important since this is to be repeated very often both in the spoken language and in the written one this 
Do you remember this word? A to Adu. Adu means that. When you read this, automatically you get Idu meaning this. And what is the third word which goes along with these two? Yedu meaning which? Adu, Yidu, Yedu or we have already come across demonstrative pronouns. Suppose I add the suffix um to these letters, these words, what will happen? Adu is a two letter word, it ends with u and so also idu and yedu. And this um has a vowel, two vowels coming together. What will happen? I have already warned you about a two lettered word having a short vowel in the beginning. You remember? These are all two lettered words with short vowels in the beginning as the first letter. So, this is easy to combine them. Adu plus um, this drops its u. Am I right? No. Last time we did that. Now both the u's are to be retained and you need a semi vowel here. You can't have ya, now you have wa. So it becomes adu um. Adu um. And for idu, it will be idu plus semi vowel wa with a dot above. Idu plus um plus um, idu um, and so also, yedu will have this semi vowel and it will be yedu um. So, we have seen three sets of words which take a semi vowel, words ending with e. E or I accept ya as the semi vowel as the grease bringing together and adu, idu, yedu and all such words ending with u take va the semi vowel as the grease as the one cementing both these words. So, in conjunction we, what we do is, the suffix um is added to the words that are to be combined and the combination takes place either naturally or by dropping one letter in the first word or by taking a semi vowel. So, this will be the general principle of conjunction. Um is the symbol, the suffix for conjunction and that is to be added to all the words of the construction. Rest in the next class.